Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. I just um, wanted to record another short tutorial, or not a tutorial, just another short sneak peek at a Designer Plus V7. Uh, something else that I discovered that I thought y'all would be really excited about, some, some extra really cool features that they've bundled into the new upgrade of Designer Plus uh, version 7. It looks like they've taken some tools that are very popular in Corel Draw on the art canvas side and implemented them on uh, the embroidery digitizing side of the program <clears throat> to make life really simple for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the art canvas. I'm going to uh, find a vector art, a piece of vector art, and I'm going to digitize it. And what I'm looking for is something that has a lot of elements or a lot of colors. One source of frustration that you may have when digitizing or uh, editing already existing uh, embroidery is when you're, you're working with a design that has a lot of elements or a lot of colors and you want to change those colors. Um, when you want to change a lot of colors, it's kind of a painstaking process. If you remember from V6 or if you're looking at your V6 now, you'll know that you, you select the element and then you have to come down here to the color picker down here and change them one at a time or do it in the color film and you really it really slows you down that process really slows you down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna load something with a lot of elements that's gonna need a lot of colors then I'm gonna show you how to color it uh, pretty quickly pretty easily and then another another really cool tool so let's switch over to the uh, art canvas <clears throat> and I'm just gonna import a vector file. Now if you remember from one of my previous tutorials uh, I showed you where all the Corel clip art is. I'm just gonna work in that folder. This is all vector art that's free. It's bundled with the Corel draw and down here at the bottom I noticed there were some of these um, some really cool looking uh, skulls from like uh, I think I think it's from the theme of uh, uh, the holiday in Mexico, the Day of the Dead, um, from that holiday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open one up here that has quite a few elements. I'm gonna go ahead and resize this dude. Just maybe something more for a jumbo hoop. That way we can really see it well. Another thing I'm is I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup all and you can see how many elements there are look at here how many elements there are in this design now hopefully I've got a pretty powerful computer and this is a powerful program hopefully this will digitize even though it's very big and has a lot of elements it'll digitize fairly quickly and we'll see we'll see how it turns out so let me go ahead and hit the convert and this may take a second but I'm not even coloring it right now in the the art canvas just to show you how easy it, it, it is to now colorize a design or recoloring an, an existing design in the embroidery canvas. So we'll just sit back and wait a second. Play a little music for you. I promise this will digitize. Okay, there we go. Now looky here. It did digitize it just the way that it saw it. Of course, it digitized it in two colors. It looks like just black and white. <clears throat> now you may have found yourself in this position before, where we've where you've loaded a design into the embroidery side, and you want to make you want to change the colors. You really want to get a good uh, feel for how this might look on a on a on a project of yours no problem let me show you how easy it is now to change the colors very rapidly in this program you'll notice over here at the right you've got some new tools of course you've got your color you've got your colors here and then your color film will pop out and that'll show you all of the different elements and we can toggle to individual elements or grouped elements okay but you'll notice a few new tools over here. We have a color picker. 
We have a little paint bucket. Isn't this great? And then you have the select, you have the, by default, this blue color is selected. Uh, just a second. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure out where I want to start. So let's start with the main body of the skull. Everything that's white here, just kind of in the main body. I'm just going to start colorizing. But I'm going to show you, let's, maybe a pink. What do you think about a pink? So I'm just going to go over here and click pink, and you'll see that that's now the active color. Okay? And then if I switch to the paint bucket and just hover over elements, I can start colorizing anything that I want to be pink very quickly here. Watch this. Pink. So now we're making these changes much quicker than you're used to in the past. Okay, what about this star? Maybe a, a yellow, so we'll switch to yellow. And you notice the paint bucket is still active. So here we go. I'm just colorizing, just clicking. Look at this. See how quick this is? Now this might not be perfect. I just want to go ahead and get this dude colored so I can show you something else that's really cool. You can also, because there's so many elements and they get so tiny, okay, like these dots, you can just use the scroll function on your mouse wheel to move in so you make sure that you're selecting the right elements look at there that's looking pretty cool so just stick with me this may take a few minutes just sit back and watch maybe I maybe I'll play a little music for you in the background okay let's see here just gonna colorize some of this stuff oops the back button is your friend let's see let me move in on this dude there we go move out move in back to pink because I forgot to get this here this here this here okay Maybe this middle one, I'm going to do something a little different. Maybe a, a blue. I'm just trying to pick complementary colors. Don't worry about spending all of your time selecting the, the perfect color because I'm going to show you a really cool tool here in just a second. Maybe the, the black outline of the star. We're going to make that blue. Look at there. And maybe these dots. We'll make the... Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Let's switch back to blue. I'm just trying to move a little too fast here. But it's easy to just go back. Look how quick this is. You're just changing things visually, kind of seamlessly. Yeah, let me get that guy, that guy. Hey, let me get this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Look, look at here. Isn't this great? You know how long this took before? You got you, you ladies may be sitting there going, oh my goodness, this is awesome. Because this took so long to do something like this that has so many elements. In V6, it took so long to do. Sorry, when I'm coloring, I don't seem to talk quite as much. I know how, how much y'all love to hear me talk. <laughs> Just kidding. See, this is looking pretty cool. Don't you think this is starting to look pretty cool? Look at that. I think it's looking really cool. Let's keep going. Blue there. Maybe switch to a yellow here. Move in. Do a yellow there. Maybe some yellow outlines here. I also have some fans running in the background today. So if you're picking that up, I apologize. What about, let's see, what about these whiskers here? Or whatever those are, this is just design elements. Really getting this dude colorized. Don't you think this is nice? I think this looks really nice. Um, I could keep going. But that would just waste, I think y'all have the point, that would just waste a little more of your time. 
Now I want to show you another really cool feature. Say we've used three or four different colors in this design and you're sitting here looking at it going, I don't know if that's exactly the way that I want this design. Well, if you remember in one of my other tutorials, I quickly introduced this cycle used colors tool. Watch, when I click this cycle used colors, it's gonna show you right on the fly different color options. So you can spend more time really, you can spend less time getting to this point, just cycling through colors to really see what it is you like and eventually you get back to the main color. Isn't that cool? How we can just cycle through different color options with the click of one button in, <clears throat> in a design that has this many elements. I think that's a, this is very, very cool. Just the, <coughs> excuse me. I've been doing a lot of talking lately, <clears throat> and I needed a little drink there. Sorry about that. Um, the inclusion of the color picker in this paint bucket right here, and just how easy that tool is to use. Well, I'll go ahead and wrap this up since I can't seem to talk right now. Ah! Well, I hope this. I hope you found this tutor tutorial useful, and y'all have a nice day. Clint Seely signing out.